why am I here and where am I going? I'm going to tell you a little story about my life. Well, it begins a long time ago. I mean, this I've always, always felt this conflict within me, a struggle. Should I go for music or should I go for engineering? Because I've, I was blessed with a talent in both of these. And I've always been struggling where, where should I put my time? Because when you put more time in one, you lose time from the other. And the other way around, of course. I mean, if you're really going to make it as a musician, you need to put in thousands of hours. It's no joke. But if you're going to make it as an engineer, you also have to put in thousands of hours. And it's not a joke that either. I've always known I could succeed in both of these. Still, I couldn't decide which way should I go, which way should I go. So I kind of tried to do both for as long time as possible. Well, the first junction was when I was going to start the university. It was music education or engineering. And I chose engineering because that was my gut feeling. And I don't regret it, not for a second. But I still kept playing the guitar and always had this dream of becoming a rock star. I wanted to go out touring because I knew I could do it. And I, I joined this band, Meadows End, and played with them for a couple of years. That, that, was, that was a really good time. Man, I learned a lot from that journey. We went on tour. We went to Spain. In, was it 2015? <laughs> the years they fly. Yeah, but we, we did a tour. That was a huge thing on my bucket list. Down in Europe. Playing music. It was a pretty amazing experience when we, when we come to town in Spain and People, they rock out and they know our songs. I mean, <laughs> that's a good feeling. That is a good feeling, truly. But this was also the same time that I decided I need to finish my PhD. And I had applied for money to do it. And I, and I got it from Terence, that was my employer back then as an industrial PhD and not now and uh, and this is also the year I got together with my wife future wife back then 2015 so I had it all I had rock star PhD education going strong and a family on the way But the day didn't have 36 hours, which was what I would have needed to sustain all three. One has to go. Which one? Should I lose Rockstar or should I lose Engineering, PhD? Or should I lose Family? One has to go, two can remain. You can see the rings here, so <laughs> it's actually two rings. My wedding ring and my PhD ring. So it was the the rock star dream had to go. And this is perhaps the most difficult decision I've ever made in my whole life. Months and months and I was trying to figure out ways to how to sustain this lifestyle with all these three things. But I couldn't, because I knew deep down that one has to go. So I let go of the Rockstar dream, I let go of the band. And I haven't hardly played in a band setting since. But that was like taking a huge part of my heart away. Really, it's almost the tears are coming when I think about this. That's how <laughs> how tough it was. 
But I knew. I knew deep down inside. That I had to do this. I wanted this ring, the PhD ring, so bad. It was also the gut feeling. And this gut feeling was stronger. Otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here right now. And now, now I'm running my business together with Klaus and Akkerwood. And this is, this is, <laughs> I can't imagine how great this felt, quitting the job and doing this. I am absolutely 100% convinced that right now I am on the right place where I should be. And there is another important lesson that I've learned. And that is, it was music and it was engineering, or acoustics, we say, acoustics, not engineering, can be specific here. Music and acoustics. And they were struggling for my time and attention. Where should I put my valuable precious time? In which of these two baskets? And there was always this nagging feeling that for every grain of time that I put into music, I lose from the engineering. Until one day it just clicked in my head. And this was when I was working with engineering acoustics. And I applied something that I have learned while playing music. And I applied it as an engineer. And then it just... That's a feeling when you go through a portal and you can't go back. And it all snapped into place in my head. Every little second that I've spent practicing the guitar and all the other instruments. Integrated into my engineering skill. And now it's the same. It's the same thing. I can use my music, my skills as a musician, when I'm working as an engineer. And also, as an acoustician, you need not just theoretical knowledge. If you want to be an exceptional acoustician, you need something more than the mathematics and the formulas. You need gut feeling. It's, it's hard to put your finger on what it is. But I can give you an example. Try to explain to somebody how to dance by writing it on a paper. I think that's going to be very difficult, if not impossible. Or playing tennis, for instance, or a musical instrument, to just write it down. It is a different kind of knowledge. It's a different kind of skill. A practical skill. Because you're working with your body. Same thing when I'm riding my motorcycle. I mean, you can read books about it and, and it, it helps. It helps. But the only thing to move forward is to put on that leather suit and go to a track day and you drag your knees and you practice really hard with your body because you gotta feel it. And this is the same thing with acoustics and sound. These two are my most important measurement instruments. Without these, 
it's going to be really hard to work as an acoustician. It's like... And I, I, I'm getting there. I, I know this. Because when you go into a room... I know it's going to sound silly, but it's like I can see the sound with my ears. I suspect this must be something similar to what a blind person could experience. Seeing with your eyes. Because when you do thousands of measurements and you listen, and you watch that sound level analyzer and you get the frequency of curves, you get the numbers, you get the decibels, and you listen, and you do this. And what is this for me? 20,000 hours? Something like that? You start to learn a lot. And it becomes integrated into your body. And this is what I'm trying to get at. As an exceptional acoustician, you need to have this practical feeling of sound. A skill that you cannot put down in words. You can't take a course in it. You need to put in those hours. Lots of them. Lots and lots of hours. Of dedicated work. And also, the last thing here on my sentimental <laughs> rant is acoustics in wooden constructions. This big piece of the puzzle that just solved itself this year, thanks to <laughs> Tim Elfstrom, my friend. Timber constructions are basically musical instruments. It is the same thing. A guitar. I've been playing the guitar for I don't know how long. Since I was 10 years and I'm, what am I now? 37, <laughs> 27 years. So I, c I can feel the guitar. It's a part of my body. <laughs> and it's made of beams and plates basically that are vibrating pushing air and the luthiers who build the guitars have known for 500 years how they should do it to produce as much sound as possible and we just have to turn these principles around and do the exact opposite Because if you use the same principles as you use to build the world's worst guitar, you would get the best floor in the world. It's the other way around. A wooden construction, a floor or a wall, is wood that has been refined to produce as little sound as possible. Whereas the musical instrument is wood that has been produced to make as much sound as possible. So I got this feeling, the gut feeling, practical knowledge how it should sound but I also have the engineering brain <laughs> so I can use this skill to my advantage so I'm pretty sure that my gut feeling was right that back then in 2015 even though that was tough that was tough but now with the climate change and everything, I'm convinced I can do so much good in the world. I want to produce value. And I think that the most value I could produce in this world is to teach others this skill, how to combine music with acoustics. <laughs>